Hello students, this is Professor here with your next video class and uh, today we are going to study the multiplication, okay? So, uh, I want you to turn page number 43, page number 43 and exercise 2C, okay? So, we are doing number 1, okay? So, now uh, number 1 also, question number uh, A, B and C are multiplication by a single number. So, uh, I believe you know how to multiply this, okay? So, I am directly doing question number D. Okay, so uh, in question number D, the question is 9654 by 23, okay. So, <clears throat> now you do this, 9654, you have to divide it by 20, sorry, you have to multiply it by 23, okay. So, now, so while multiplying, if there are two digit or three digit or four digit, that means more than two digit, then you will start from the back one. That means you have to start multiplying with this. So first you have to multiply only with the last digit that is 3. So 3 4 the 12 2 carry over 1. Okay. So now after this 3 5 the 15 plus 1 16 again 6 carry over 1. Then 3 6 the 18 plus 1 19 again carry over 1. Isn't it? So then, <clears throat> three nines are twenty-seven plus one, twenty-eight, isn't it? So now we have multiplied with three. So now what is remaining with three? Yeah, sorry, with two. Okay. So now we have to multiply with two, but before multiplying with two, you will put one cross here. Okay. Now we will start from here. Okay. So two fours are eight. Isn't it? 2 5 10 that is 0 carry over 1. 2 6 the 12 plus 1 13. 13 3 carry over 1. Okay, so 2 9 18 plus 1 19. So 19. Ah, so with 2 also we have finished. So there are no other digits here. So now what we have to do is we have to add this 2. Add this 2. Okay. So now 2, this means 0, okay. So 2 plus 0, 2. Okay. 6 plus 8, 14. 14, 4 carry over 1. So 9 plus 1, 10. 10, 0 carry over 1. So now 8 plus 3, 11. 11 plus 1, 12 carry over 1. Again, 2 plus 9, 11. 11 plus 1, 12. 2 carry over 1. So, 1 plus 1, 2. So, this is your answer. So, the answer is how much? 2 lakhs, 24,042. Okay. So, this is how you will multiply with two numbers. Okay. So, similarly, you can do question number uh, E and F as a homework. Okay. So, we are moving to next question. That is question number G. Okay. So, now, <coughs> question number G. So, how will you do? Similarly, 7, 5, 8, 6, you have to multiply with 108, isn't it? So now again you will start from the back, okay, back means 8, so 8, 6, 48, 4, carry over 4, 48, that is 8, carry over 4, so now 8 is 64 plus 4, 68, carry over 6, isn't it? So now 8, 5 is 40. 40 plus 6, 46, carry over 4, okay, so now 8, 7 is 56, 56 plus 4, 60, okay, so now we have done with 8, okay, so now next we will do with 0, so before starting with 0, we will put 1 cross here, so 0, 6 is 0, 0, 8 is 0, 0, 5 is 0, 0, 7 0, so with 0 also we have finished, so now we will do with, next one with 1, so before doing with 1, we will put 2 crosses, because we are doing to the next step, so we will put 2 crosses, if there is one more number, we will put 3 cross crosses, okay, so now with 1, 1, 6 are 6, 1, 8 is 8, 1, 5 is 5, 1, 7 is 7, so now, 
all have we have finished for one also zero also eight also so now we will add this three okay so i said this cross means zero so eight plus zero plus zero eight so eight plus zero zero eight again so now six plus zero six plus six is twelve one so eight eight plus one nine next six plus zero six plus five eleven one carry over one so seven plus one eight so this is your this is your answer that is eight lakhs nineteen thousand two hundred and eighty eight okay so number a number b number c number e number f number h and uh, number i these are your homework okay so number one a b c e a f h i so these are your homework which you have to do okay next uh, we'll move to question number three okay so question number three number a is number a is how many hours are there in a year okay so to know how many hours are there in a year first you should know how many days are there in a year so how many days are there in a year number of so do you know how many days are there in a year there are 365 days okay understood so now next you should know what you should know is how many hours are there in a day in a single day in one day how many hours are there so number of hours in a day is how much you should know that is 24 24 hours okay so now in a year there are 365 days and in one day in one day 20 there are 24 hours okay in one day there are 24 hours and in total we have 365 days in a year so how many hours are there in a means there in a year means you have to find if for one day it is 24 for 365 days how many hours means how will you find obviously by multiplying okay so you have to multiply so number of okay let me first multiply okay 4 5 ja 20 carry over 2 4 6 ja 24 and 2 26 carry over 2 4 3 ja 12 13 14 so now with 4 we have finished so we are moving to 2 so now we will put one cross 2 5 ja 10 carry over 1 2 6 ja 12 plus 1 13 carry over 1 2 3 ja 6 7 So now you have to add. So zero plus zero, zero. Six plus zero, six. Four plus three, seven. And seven plus one, eight. Okay. So we got the answer as eight seven six zero. Therefore, number of hours in a year is how much? Eight seven six zero. Hours, or you can write. Therefore, there are eight seven six zero hours in a year. Next, uh, I want you to see question number uh, C. Okay, number three, number C, and question says that um, Amit's two children go to the same school. Okay, so Amit has two children. They go to the goes to the same school. He pays rupees six thousand three hundred and forty per month as school fees for. Each child means for one child he is paying rupees six thousand three hundred and forty per month. Per month means in one month he is paying that much. Okay, for one children. Remember for one children. So school fee per month for one. Child is how much? Rupees six thousand three hundred and forty. Okay. So now, but there are how many children? Amit has two children. So for one children, if he pays this much, so for two children, how much will he pay? Number of children is how much? Two. Therefore, monthly 
fee for two children is how much? So see, for one children he is paying this much six thousand three hundred and forty. So for two children how much will he pay? We have to multiply this by two, isn't it? Six three four zero into two. Okay, so it's very easy. So two zero is zero, two four is eight. Two three is a six and two six is a twelve. So twelve thousand six hundred and eighty rupees he is paying for two chil ch children in one month. So now what you have to find? You have to find how much does he pay in the entire year? So in one month he is paying twelve thousand six hundred and eighty rupees for two children. So now you have to find how much he is he paying. In an entire year, entire year means how many months are there in a year? Number of months in a year is how much? Twelve, obviously, right? So now, now, so in one month he is paying this much for both the child. So now you have to find how much will he pay for a year? So a year means for twelve months. Okay, so you have to multiply into twelve, right? So now, <coughs> first start with two. Two zeros are zero. Two eights are sixteen. One. Two six are twelve. Thirteen. Three. One. Two two's are four plus one five. Two ones are next. One zeros are zero. One eights are eight. One six are Because here we are putting cross, right? So we have to start from one zero to zero. One zero to eight. One six to six. One two to two. One one to one. So what now? You have to add. So zero plus zero zero. Six plus zero six. Three plus eight eleven. Carry over one. So six plus five plus six eleven plus one twelve one. So now two plus two four plus one five. So here only one. Okay. So, this is the total amount he pays in a year. So, what you can write? Therefore, <coughs> therefore, he pays rupees one lakh fifty-two thousand one hundred and sixty in a entire year. Okay, because see, for one child he was paying six thousand three hundred and forty in one month, and he has two children, right? So, for two children total, he is paying this much twelve thousand six hundred and eighty. Okay. But we have to find for entire year, and in entire year there are twelve months. For one month, this is the fee. Okay, so for twelve months, you have to multiply this fee with twelve. So you will get this answer. So after that, after finding this, you will write. Therefore, he pays rupees one lakh fifty two thousand one hundred and sixty in a entire year. Okay, so this is the case. So in this way, you can do question number three B and D. Also as a homework, okay means so how many homeworks you have? Question number one: A, B, C, E, F, H, and I, okay. And question number three: B and D. So these are your homeworks. Please do your homework properly and submit it, okay. So till then, till the next video, stay safe and goodbye.